Hello, Sandy Kettle here once again from Server Components and Systems in the UK to take you through some of the advanced, advanced features of the Copley Amplifier uh, control set. Now, I'm running CME2. I've got a beta version here, but you can download the latest version from uh, the Copley website. And I'm connected to a drive, uh, which is a BEL drive, and a brushless server motor. Um, now, we're going to assume everything's been tuned and configured uh, from an earlier video. I showed you how to do that. Uh, but you can turn the whole drive into a, into a simple uh, PLC-driven application uh, using the CMV control program. So if I click on that, um, we'll see that uh, we've got a, a number of um, control, control programs down the side here. I can have up to 32 plus um, a priority program which is activated on its own dedicated input. But uh, the actual 32 programs are selected using a uh, setup sequence selection, which we'll go into on another video. For now, we're going to go through how you enter a program. Now, so I'm assuming that you uh, have some idea of what you want to do. So let's assume we are wanting to uh, enable the drive, home it to a uh, date and position, and then move between two positions on the command of an input. Uh, and maybe we want to turn a valve on and off every time we stop. So uh, let's show you how, how we would do that. So you select a, a spare sequence slot. So I'm going to pick uh, number one. And uh, you'll see there's nothing in it. And I'm going to add new steps. So if I click on this button, uh, we bring up a new menu. Now you'll see down here we've got add, copy, paste, cut, delete, and uh, move up one position and move down one position where you can juggle the instructions around. So um, let's assume that we've set the drive up so it enables this program sequence on power up or a reset. And I'll show you how to do that later. Um, if we do that on power up, then we need to give some time to allow the logic to actually power up and get initialized. So the first thing I would normally do is add a time delay at the beginning. So I wait for time delay here and add. We'll go around and fill up all the uh, variables in a moment. It's probably easier this way, just throw the instructions into the list and then go back and edit them. So after a certain time delay, we then uh, want to home. So we find the home instruction, here it is, home, add. Uh, and then we want to maybe wait for an input to trigger the uh, the first move. So I'm going to say wait for input add. And once that's complete, I'm then going to move to a position. And then, as I said, we want to uh, turn on output. So we've got an instruction down here, which is set output add. And we may want it on for a certain amount of time. Uh, so wait for time event again. And then we want to set the output off. So add. Okay, then I think I said we would wait for an input and trigger the next move. So wait for an input. Uh, once that's complete, we uh, do a move again. And then wait till that's done, and then we set an output, wait for a time delay, set an output, and then uh, that's it, so there's two moves, set outputs, and then we're going to go back to the start again, let's assume we want to continually do this. Uh, now the question you've got to ask is, do you want to uh, uh, go back into a home, or do you want to move back to uh, the first move? So, okay, we've got all our instructions in the list, so we can close that now and get it out of the way and go back to the start. Now, we need about 100 milliseconds to uh, ensure everything is settled before we enable anything or do any moves. So let's say that's 100 milliseconds. Now we do the move and we can either uh, set the current position as a home, uh, the next index position, if it's a, especially if it's a, a, a linear system, you can move to the next position on the index mark. Uh, we can move to a limit switch, a home switch, a hard stop, um, various other options there. 
So I'm assuming we've got an incremental encoder and I'm going to move to the home switch. So again, let's assume that uh, we have to move backwards to the home switch to get to, to, the, to the switch. So I'm going to click negative move here and you'll see we've got a fast velocity and a slow velocity. So what it actually does is it will move to the switch at a fast velocity, see the switch and then move off the switch at a low velocity. Um, so those values are uh, acceptable to me at the moment. Um, and we're also going to wait until it's referenced. So it won't do anything else until we've got a reference. So that's that. Then we're going to move uh, to the next instruction, which is waiting for an input. And I've decided that input 2 would be my trigger to move to the position, to the first position. So rising edge, input 2. Simple as that. 2. Move. So, we know, I know, that the encoder is a 8192 step per rev encoder. Uh, so that means a quarter of rev is 2048. So let's say we're going to move a quarter of a rev at that velocity, at that acceleration and deceleration. And we're going to wait until the move is done. And then I'm going to set an output on. I'm going to use the output, to, output 1 is on. I'm going to wait for a time delay and I'm going to have it on for two seconds. And then I'm going to turn output one off. Then I'm going to wait for input two again, rising edge. Then I'm going to do another move. And let's say I'm now going to go to the full rev, uh, 8192. Oh, um, I should say I want absolute. Let's go back to the other one and put absolute in there. So you could move a relative move. Uh, or an absolute move. Uh, so we're going to move absolute. So this motor will never do more than one rev. It'll move backwards and forwards between those two positions. Okay. So then I'm going to output again. On. Wait for a time delay. Two seconds. Then turn it off again. And then do a conditional jump. Now, uh, it's not really a conditional jump I want. I want an actual jump regardless. So to, to do that, we can make one greater than zero, which it always is. So it would always do this jump. So um, where do I jump to? Well, it's sequence one, although we could jump to any sequence. And it's going to be step four. Now, problem with that is actually that it will do move here. Bom, bom, output, output, and then jump to, and then do another four, another move by going back to four. So in fact, what we really want to do is jump to three. There we go. So it's now going to wait for an input again, but it's not going to do a home again. So then we have to uh, save it to flash, and then I go to set up. We can click this, which there we go. It's warning me that I need a delay. which I've already done. Uh, so it'll start on a go command, on start on a go, on start up or reset. But we'll come back and I'll show you how this works later on uh, in another video.